Hello everyone, this is Jungle One. This is Madurai Red. Hey, what's up guys? This is Water Geek. And we're back for more Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. He went to Bubba to fix it, blah 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 blah. And we're in the <laughs> cave. The cave. Whoa, she's she's freaked. And Goku's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. This is this is so, this is the uh, usual apparently for me. In this conversation, Goku's is Saul's Bulma. Yeah. They're on eye level. I like to think he's on stilts right well, now. Look at that, but then next but then when you get to gameplay, she's taller than him. Mm-hmm. The basis of this stage is that you have to get to the other side to fight the boss and then you have to run back as an in Indiana Jones you puzzle. Really, I guess. really want <coughs> that bat to die. Oh yes, I hate bats. In the against <laughs> I hate that <laughs> guy. <laughs> You know, I hate that guy. Uh, he hit me with a grenade. Just and... Or is that Oolong's uh, bat sprite that he... It, it's just like an enemy. colored it. Yeah, that's called a recolor in video games. I'm sure that's not common. You can take a Kamehameha to the face, you little douchebag. So you, oh, nice music. Uh, you can just levitate while you're doing one. Except... Yes, you technically... Mm -hmm. it's, it's realistic. I don't know if in real life you. It's realistic that you can shoot a beam out of your hands already, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if you've ever. It's unrealistic when you can flow in the air while doing it. Yeah. More health. Health pot, because you know pot always gives you health. Yeah. No, it doesn't. If it pot gives you good health, pot Actually, only lose. In life, it lose. does. <laughs> now that I think mm -hmm. about it, in life of a peasant, in um. Oh God, what's it called in? Uh... Spike bit. Warcraft. And you're. You come out of it most beautifully. <laughs> Beautiful Joe-like. Yeah, in Warcraft, not in, people, in yeah. Lope, uh, Pot is the drug that gives you health. So I find <laughs> that kind of in... funny. Gives you max. In what? Like Hello, peasant in uh, Warcraft 3. Oh, who can't, who plays World of Warcraft? Said, he does, apparently. I said Warcraft 3. Oh, I thought you meant World of Warcraft. Oh, I'm You're talking about the RTS series that spawned the game. I have oh. World of Warcraft, but I hardly play. I have I'm to not get that, that guy. I never even heard of Warcraft. By anyway, itself. on the subject of this game, there's a skull in the background. Did Skeleton. you did you realize that World of Warcraft came from a series that was basically made RTSs? No. <laughs> nice Dragon Ball. Made by Blizzard. Uh, no. They made Starcraft. They made Diablo. No, I didn't. Guys. Oh, I knew it was made by Blizzard who made Diablo and um, StarCraft, but I didn't know it was made by um, the same people who made an RTS series. I'm surprised they never kept it Warcra was made by Blizzard, World of Warcraft the as The people who made StarCraft. Well, now I know! Whoa. Guys, Dragon Ball. Warcraft was... Yes, it... God. Stay on topic. I know, I know. Stay on topic. God. With what's going on? Yeah, you're just going through the stage so far. And you're getting shot by random guys who aren't even supposed to be there in the first place, because this place is pretty much unknown. And how's there a hamburger underwater in a, in a cave? I don't know. Hey, how's how's there, there, how are there apples falling out of people's pockets, yeah, basically? Maybe they're fruit, fruit flies. Fruit, fruit, flies. fruit bats. They're probably fruit bats. You don't know what they should be dropping. These soldiers should be dropping rations. Should be dropping what? Rations, like army rations. That would make more sense. Yeah, it would. And like, on top of the, on top of shooting you, they can also knife you, just to let you know. The bats should be actually dropping guano, not um apples. But do you want to eat guano? Yeah. <laughs> no. It would just damage you when they get when they die. Then why would you? Then why do you care cool, so much? Actually. I don't. That's the thing. How is that rock levitating? Uh, what rock? They just the lower one you broke. It, but it's never mind. I don't what know. Is this? Ooh. A jewel. Oh, that's that the thing that never uh, for much. General Blue wanted. Which makes sense why it'd be here, I guess. Ah, Metal Gear Solid. You need to take what? out that camera. Oh, you should use the sound effect there. Yeah, you should later. Like, do an instant replay. <laughs> of what? Yeah, while you're editing this and syncing our audience stuff, you need to put in the, uh, the sound effect for when you get found in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then we just come back from a cut right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little sound effect from Metal Gear Solid. That that John totally remembered to put in. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll totally remember that. I put in the Die Hard part during the GTA commentary. Good. <laughs> Remind me of a Nintendo Capri Sun when you did that, actually. Really? Yeah, he did, he did that a few times in like his Chrono Trigger uh, Let's Play. Well, I mean, sometimes you just have to do that in certain games, especially RPGs where it can get boring. 
Mm-hmm. <sighs> I have boom, never boom, heard boom. of this one. And... <laughs> Nintendo That's Capri Sun? Yeah, I, I've never That's heard right. of this It's really That's big good. on YouTube. I'm surprised you haven't. An extra life! That's yeah! Life, life forget them! Please don't start cheat speaking. You're very bad. You're very... Little... Life forget them! <laughs> Yeah, better than yours, damn right. Ah, oh, shut up. Anyway, if you fall, if you land on it, if you touch any of those little uh, spike thing, little uh, mines, they basically draw out spikes which will hit you and knock you down. Like that. Which, gives, which give the bats, which give the bats a perfect opportunity to basically pound you in the face. Is it just me or did you lose almost half your life to those damn bats? Yeah, yeah. because that's why I don't like the bats. Invincibility. Invincibility. What's they're firing at me though? They're just like, hey, we don't care. He's not invincible. That that only happens in video games. Yeah. Then they figured out their life is a lie. Which isn't. Inception. Or they're in denial about it and continue to try a fire. Anyway. I hate. They're living in the matrix. If you haven't noticed during the um game that you will be finding different colorations of enemies. The different colors of them, as you go through, are the strong get the stronger they get. The red ones are the strongest, while the green ones are the most basic, and the blue ones are the weakest. Like in, in general terms, like with every enemy. Yeah, with every enemy, you do get each recolors. What about those robots? Because I seem to remember the robots starting um. Bay. Yeah, yeah like the robots start yellow, yellow, orange, and then and then they turn to red. The red ones are exploding ones. The blue ones are stronger than the those. orange ones. Yeah, the blue ones are stronger than the orange ones. I think we're about to the barrels, the by the boss way? now. Can you just... Oh. You couldn't destroy uh. those barrels back there? I could, but I didn't want to. Okay. Here we go, mid-boss. This one Look is that. so easy. It's He's a robot so pirate. Easy. All you have to do is jump over his head and then just come out of him, basically. And since this is unlike the tournament where um you continually lose a uh, beam, where you when you use your uh, special attacks, Instead, you just keep, you just do it over and over again. Yeah. He does become invincible when he's shooting at you, though. So that's a bit of an annoyance. Does anyone know what Goku actually says when he uh, extends his uh, staff? Um, I think like, he's just I think he's just letting out a scream of uh, ecstasy. Does it seem to hear suck it out or something? And you can still be hit when you're um using your Kamehameha burn. Did you hear that? He's definitely yeah. saying something. He's saying like, uh, I think it might be something in Japanese. Oh, well, I would have said. That. No, because it's like you know, games like this will, get, you know, Japanese games in general will usually use the uh, sound effects from the Japanese. Well, this was originally of, in Japan of, only. Use... <laughs> this was a Game Boy Advance game for Japan oh. only. Oh yeah, if it was. No, it, it was. Yeah, I know. I had it back when it was Game it Boy Advance game because I had a fan translation on a ROM. Who uses ROMs to record games? What? You be crazy. No, that's stupid. No, this channel exists. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, I can't wait. Your retaliation. Uh, if you get hit by too many bullets at the same time, you'll be knocked over because of fatigue. Every time you get knocked over, because every other time you get hit by a bullet, you just flinch. Yeah, you just flinch. You're fine. It's only a bullet. It's only hey, come a bullet. on, it's it only doesn't... a bullet to the face. Did you just get fully healed, or did you cut? I cut. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't remember you healing between areas. You don't. So you died, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have to- you can, <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I, can, I can die from times uh, on screen. Right. You're a dog. You know, I die from times on screen, but I try to make sure that I, um, you know, at least keep some type of flow. Was it around here that you died? Probably. I think it was, like, around here one of those bats hit me in the middle of the air and then knocked me down. So did the bat just fly through the back of your head so hard he went into oh. the helmet, huh? Boom! Yes. <laughs> and if you don't hit these red enemies enough, soon enough, they will explode and blow you up. Hamburger! Bur More hamburgers than out of the robot. Okay. Yes. Robots for now, from now on always have to hold hamburgers. If it's not true, then I am lying. Well, and chicken. Well, and chicken under in an underwater cavern, go figure. That's because I think that's the last little um, section before the boss, which we're now about to fight. Let me this guess, guy... General Blue. Wow, you guessed correct. I win. That is how it kills everyone. Yeah, his shotgun, in the manga at least, I know he took out a shotgun. Yeah. 
The manga is known to be more violent than the anime. It in is. In the anime, he had a shotgun, but only in the Japanese version. I, I think he had something else in the... Uh, An invisible in the... gun in the English version. Really? This I guy can barely like be counted as a I'm kidding, because I don't really so know. Fin, oh. He is so easy. In the All you have to do is calm down and hop to death. Nothing. You just point <laughs> at Krillin. Yeah, if he yeah if he uses that telekinesis, if he stares at you, he will basically do a Medusa type move. Uh, can you face and... away from him and he won't affect you? Yes, yeah, it's basically like Medusa. That's why I mean by Medusa. If you face away from him when he's looking at you, he won't be able to hit, affect you with the with his telekinesis. Yeah, if he glows blue, he's freezing you. If he glows um kind of a red, fully red, then up. he's yeah in the rocks. General blue going blue. What? And I'm pretty sure he can he can pull out a rocket launcher. He can. Oh, he pulls yeah. it out. He pulls it out. Don't let him look at you. Yeah, see, he's looking at me, but I can't. I'm not defeated. I'm not stunned because of it. Uh, Majoriba, did when in playing a Budokai Tenkaichi three, did you ever um, go back and uh, like play like Krillin versus General Blue just to see who would win? Uh, no. Although I did use General Blue a lot because he was just a really fun character. But he yeah. doesn't see. In this fight alone, he doesn't really use his um, melee combat, which would have killed me more than likely if he had used it more. He just keeps using his telekinesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his telekinesis is too easy to dodge. It's really easy. All I have to do is basically use the Kamehameha. You can whatever. break this game by just using the Kamehameha yeah. pretty much. Yeah, you really can. <laughs> you, you can get your Kamehameha. Oh, there's a oh, shotgun. Big. Yep, yeah, there's a the shotgun. Shot it too. Boom! 25,000. But he took he oh. me. That's the way I die in the later area. Really? When that I get sucks. hit, when I get hit, like, right after I kill the boss. I think it's in the next part. Is this or the Indiana the... Jones moment? Now, if you don't or put the dialogue next... forwards and rocks keep falling, does it cave in eventually and she dies? No. Oh. Bulma doesn't die. She has to come up back in Z. Damn it. Anyway. But anyway. That's it, it for this part. Uh, this is Woody Egan. I'll see you guys later. This is Madre Red. Have a nice day. And this is Junwon, and next time we will see you at, I believe, Baba's Tower. Bye.